couple of days ago, I got this guy, and he said he had some problem with uh, shooting objects. Like, launching objects, shooting, you know, if you have a gun or something. And I'm gonna fix that today. Uh, so, here we have the player. I'm just gonna set him to be the uh, eight directions, and his initial direction to be to the right. And then to have automatic rotations on, so that now when you see him walk, he's like this. Let's take this bullet, move it off the screen, and tick off create at start. It's just going to use up memory, not a lot. Now, we want this player to fire where the cursor is. We could just have the cursor, or we could be a bit more creative and just create an aim. Doesn't matter how you create this aim, but I always like it to be an odd number of pixels so that there's an obvious center. And I'm going to make a rectangular aim today. It's going to go out like this. And it's going to have a clear line through the center. I don't know if that's even the center. That's probably not the center. No, it has to go one down. One pixel down. That should be right now, I think. So now if I set the hotspot to the center, yeah, that's the center. There you go. So now we have our aim. It's not beautiful, but it's going to work. Now we always, we have to create an always statement because we always want to set this aim to be where the mouse is. So let's just say X mouse is going to be the X position. And the Y position is going to be Y mouse. Now... How do you how do I know it's Y mouse? Well you can also just click on this and get the current X position or Y position of the mouse and it's gonna come up as the same thing. So now if you start up you're gonna see ooh it now follows the cursor. Now we don't want to see the cursor, so let's go just go to the always statement. Go to the mouse pointer and keyboard, right click and hide Windows pointer. Oh you can't see it anymore. Yay! Now, we want it so that when the player clicks, the player is going to launch an object, which is going to be the bullet, at a speed of 100, in the direction of aim. This is not going to be pixel perfect. This is not going to be a full 360 degree shooting. Excuse me. It's actually far from going to be that, but if you want 360 degree movement, you actually, there's a lot of maths involved. I know how to do that. That's going to be another video. But now, you see, you can move around and it shoots towards where the crosshair is. Now, you can see it's not pixel perfect, but if I move it down here to the center here, it's going to be pixel perfect. It's just because there's not enough directions like this. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hurrah!